His check on stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. The current Salisbury Sharon Transfer Station site will be closed today. The new Salisbury Sharon Transfer Station located at 410 Millerton Road, Route 44, will be opening at 8 a.m. on Thursday. Flu shots will be available today, 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. at SVNA, 30A Salmon Kill Road in Salisbury. Flu clinic will be held outside, weather permitting. Wear a mask and practice social distancing. Falls Village hearing on the proposed affordable housing development on River Road in Falls Village today, 6.30. It'll be held via Zoom. Details will be posted on the Falls Village website. Mark Scarborough series on Wallace Stevens is a Zoom meeting from 10 until 11.45 in Cornwall. Today at 7 o'clock, offline Zoom forum about generators in Cornwall. On Thursday in Cornwall, the deadline for next month's Chronicle, submitting stories there, and also at 7 o'clock, the Board of Finance in Cornwall has a Zoom meeting. The Town of Ancrum preliminary budget public hearing will be held on Thursday. The Ancrum Town Board will hold a public hearing via Zoom, soliciting public comments on the preliminary budget. The public hearing will begin at 645 on the 15th. A copy of the preliminary budget is available at the town website. More information is available at that town website. Pine Plains has a town board meeting coming up on Thursday via Zoom. It's at 7 p.m. Coming up on Saturday, October 17th at the Hotchkiss Library in Sharon, Representative Johanna Hayes in Congress hears from residents in Salisbury and Sharon. You can sign up at hotchkisslibrary.org. American Legion Post 178 will hold a barbecue amid the COVID pandemic, a very joint venture of the American Legion Auxiliary and Sons of the American Legion, Saturday, October 17th. Take out only chicken barbecue with sides and dessert. Dinners can be picked up at the American Legion Post, 155 Route 44, between 5 and 6. Advanced tickets available from any Legion member or by calling or texting 518-755-0291. Tickets will be $15 each. The Kent Art Association announcing their fall jury show Sunday, October 18th through Sunday, November 15th. Gallery hours Saturday and Sunday, 1 till 5. Opening reception this Sunday from 1 till 5 at the gallery. Winners announced at 3 p.m. More information is available at kentart.org. The Egremont Volunteer Fire Department annual steak dinner is takeout only this year, Sunday, October 18th. 14-ounce strip steak, salad, potato, hot fudge sundae, garlic bread, and soda. You can pick up at the South Egremont Firehouse, 4 till 8 p.m. Donation, $25 per dinner. Check or exact cash. Delivery orders are available, 413-528-0971. Grills, dump trucks, chippers, and more will be available in Dutchess County's Surplus Auction, which we held online, 8 p.m., October 19th. More information is available at the Dutchess County website. A 50-year-old man died Monday after he was involved in a single vehicle crash in Amenia, according to the Dutchess County Sheriff's Office. Matthew Hadley driving his Jeep in a field area of Benson Farm. When police said he lost control and was partially ejected, he was the only person in the Jeep at the time. Police responded to the scene at about 5.50. He was pronounced dead at the scene. The Dutchess County Medical Examiner, Dutchess County Department of Emergency Response, State Police, Amini EMS, Northern Dutchess EMS, Amini Dover, and Mosaic Fire Departments all assisted at the scene. That crash remains under investigation by the Sheriff's Office. Marist College will remain now on pause through at least Friday as 27 cases have been found on campus. That number is also more than twice the previous total of 12 cases traced to the event shared by the Dutchess County Department of Behavioral and Community Health last week. Meanwhile, in Connecticut, as of Monday, Ned Lamont, the governor, said hospitalization were at 155, cases totaling over 61,000. Connecticut coronavirus update means that hospitalizations have increased at about 1.4% positivity rate, which is increasing upwards in Connecticut. Meanwhile, New York's COVID-19 infections dipped to their lowest positivity rate in more than two weeks, Sunday, including new cases of active coronavirus clusters across the state as a whole, according to the governor. Early voting in cities and towns throughout Massachusetts begins this Saturday, continuing through October 30th. Voting sites operating as ballot drop-off locations for those who received vote-by-mail ballots. More than 1.3 million ballots so far have been mailed to voters throughout Massachusetts. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlaken, interlakeninn.com. 
and by Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average starts off today at 28,679.81. The Nasdaq at 11,863.90. And the S&P 500 at 3511.93. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That will come your way in just a few moments.